Is it just me? Okay, let's think about this. If you're charging inmates 60 bucks a night at jail and they can't pay for it, they can, they can work it off in jail. What job in a jail pays 60 bucks a day? Yeah, can uh, you, you would never catch up, would you? Can you wash enough dishes or make enough license plates to make, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe they have special kind of provisions money. to do that, but wow. Yeah. Banks are facing new laws to prevent some hikes in credit card rates, and um, that is not stopping them from piling on the fees to your everyday banking. So here's your heads up from our money expert, Jennifer Westoven. Fees like what? Fees like, they'll just stick them in there. Something that you do for too many times that you went over your overdraft yeah. amount, if you use My favorite your is the non-use fee. The non-use fee. Oh, the non-use fee? <laughs> I haven't seen that one, actually. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You don't use it? Well, okay. Too many times. I, I recently had a place say, well, it's a savings account, so you're supposed to save. You shouldn't be making withdrawals. <laughs> But you know, only if you fee? did it on the phone. Only if you did it on the phone, they would fee you. If you did it online, then it was fine to make all those withdrawals. You really got to watch out here. That is, there's some malarkey coming out of these banks. Here's a list of some banks that are raising some of their fees. So look out: Bank of America, SunTrust, Wachovia, Citibank. This is all in USA Today this morning. Great story, shining a light on this. Critics say that is not necessarily honest. You know, people signed up being told they were getting free banking. And there are all these, they call them back-end fees, when they sneak in at the back and bite you that way. Well, what can you do? Obviously, you can call and complain. Sometimes it doesn't get you anywhere. You can switch banks, but how often can you do that? That's costly. Well, one thing you might consider doing is getting in touch with your lawmaker. One, Bernie Sanders in Vermont, he says, look, we have to have tougher rules. He says, he's got tough words. He says, or else they're going to continue to rip off people in every way imaginable with outrageous fees snuck in every single place. So there's at least one lawmaker who's on fire and wants to do something about this. But, uh, it, you know, it can be tough. You're going to have to do a little homework. And I know it can be really boring looking at your statements, but it could be worth it. They, uh, sometimes people don't notice this until it adds up to hundreds of dollars. All right, the latest up-to-the-minute look at the jobs market. Just in in the past few minutes, things did get a little bit better according to the Labor Department's numbers. They were down 13,000 to 623,000. We're talking about the number of people who signed up for the first time for initial jobless claims. So what that tells us when it comes down is that job destruction is getting less. That's good, but we're still in quite a dark area above 600,000, still significantly better than just two months ago. But a number that a lot of the people on Wall Street really look at is the number of people who are still on unemployment. That's up to nearly 6.8 million, and that's a way that you can see it's really tough these days to find a new job. Be really careful with the job that you got. And very quickly, top White House officials close to recommending a big overhaul of the financial system. The Wall Street Journal says they are looking at one bank regulator. Right now, we've got like five or six. They all have little different parts of the web. Nobody oversees everything. That clearly did not work during the financial crisis in the fall. Robin. Can I get an amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, thank you. You know, a 73-year-old man says that he was dumped from his job at a baseball stadium because of how old he is. We're taking your thoughts on this. Rafer with more on that. This has people fired up. It does, Robin, and for good reason. 73-year-old John Vendikos had been serving Manhattans in the Bronx at the old Yankee Stadium for almost 30 years. He served the great ones, Reggie Jackson, even a retired Joe DiMaggio. When they moved to the new digs, the, uh, the team's vendor made him re-interview and did not keep him. He's saying ageism. The team said, I just didn't want him. What do you think? Would you have kept the old guy on staff?